Hi, I'm Colin Bendel, Director of Performance Engineering. And today, I'm going to talk about performance, and particularly performance on the online store. Now, there's three things that I want to talk to you today about. First is about improving theme performance with new tools. Second is the new tools to improve page performance. And third, tools to help you build fast and stay fast in your teams. Let's get into this. Now, we, we saw earlier today, I shared that page performance, that first experience that a buyer sees, directly correlates to conversion. That is 10% increase in page speed leads to a 7% increase in conversion on average. How do we achieve this? This is such an important aspect of all of our sites. So I want to talk about how do we build fast and then stay fast. Now, I showed earlier about the CLI, the new Shopify CLI, and we've extended it to support theme developers. So now you can do a theme serve. So this will spin up a local environment that will allow you to iterate quickly and get that instant feedback as you make changes to CSS and to your markup and even all of the aspects around meta fields and block. We've also extended the Shopify CLI to include the theme check. A Shopify theme check, when it runs, inspects your theme code for syntax errors and other performance problems. When it runs, it gives you insight into how you can improve your code, as well as not just about liquid, but also general performance improvements. You can get access to it with the CLI, but there's also a VS Code plugin. When you run the VS Code plugin, the same syntax highlighting is now in line in your code editor, and those hyperlinks to additional information can be linked straight out. So you can get the CLI by way of using a brew install, or you can use the, uh, the VS Code plugin. So the key things we want to remember, uh, use this to check for syntax errors, increase you know, parser errors, as well as look for performance patterns. You can see the extended docs, and this works for themes and app extensions. You can get the VS Code on the marketplace or brew install the CLI. You'll also want to look at how you can integrate your theme development lifecycle with your CI pipeline. You saw earlier the integration with GitHub Actions so that on a PR create, you can get that instant check to make sure that has the theme changes impacted performance before you, you actually merge. Now, to do that, we've created a convenient Shopify Lighthouse CI action that you can use in your GitHub Actions that will spin up the environment for your shop. And if you need to use a password, we can even pass the password along uh, in your GitHub Action secrets. And this will, on demand, spin up the environment, run a full Lighthouse uh, controlling by Puppeteer, and provide the results. And you can set the thresholds for the different aspects of Lighthouse, whether it be performance or accessibility. So you can use the CLI, the Shopify CLI, to create these, these various CI actions. And it does so by creating these ephemeral themes that are spun up, allow you to test, and then disappear afterwards. You can also use the, the pre-built Shopify GitHub action. But you also want to improve performance for your whole page. Now, there's a number of things that go on when you load a web page. One part of it starts from getting that liquid uh, HTML to the browser, and the browser then parses it looking for the various JavaScript and CSS and other aspects of the page. Now, when this happens, the browser has to make a lot of TCP connections. And if it has to res load resources from third parties, this delays the full page composition. In fact, many apps use this technique of hosting their content on third-party CDNs so that you can do automatic updates without having to modify the themes that they were installed. Now with theme app extensions, this problem radically is simplified. You're now able to ship your theme app extension as one bundle. And when you ship it, it's contiguous with all of the other elements. So if you're upgrading the CSS and the JavaScript at once, they will all be linked together. There's a couple different flavors of theme app extensions. Those are those apps that are app embed that do not have a UI component that can be customized. And those are best for analytics or 
uh, chat applications. Then there are those that have blocks that have UI components that may change based on metadata information like star ratings and so forth. But underneath the hood is a directory structure that looks very familiar to those building themes and allows you to follow the same structure, use the same tools, and get the, the benefits of a single deployment. When you upgrade your code base, you ship a zip file with all of the files and they will be automatically deployed to all of the stores that are using your app. The advantage of this process is that now all of your CSS and JavaScript will be upgraded automatically, but they'll also be hosted on the same domain, cdn.shopify.com, as all the other assets within the store. This will improve the loading as well as minimize any delays that the browser has in trying to set up new TCP connections and otherwise delaying the load. This will be a great boon for your themes. And if you have an app that you're working with, upgrade and migrate them to uh, the app extensions framework now. And finally, how do we improve that theme performance? Now, the theme performance is the first step in the journey of loading the full page. And when we load that page, there's a lot that goes on in Liquid. You can use tools today like the Theme Inspector, which is a Chrome plugin that provides that flame graph of the execution throughout the page. We've ex enhanced this to support many different kinds of logins. We've also extended the Shopify CLI to show the profiling metrics. So you can highlight where you want to focus your energy on improving the performance of your Liquid uh, pages. Now, while we can't always improve the code base because they may be maintained by other teams, you can focus on using loading those resources more efficiently. There's a lot of time in the margins, and so margin time if we use techniques like resource hints. Resource hints is a new tool that browsers have that allow you to signal to the browser that there is going to be JavaScript and CSS or web fonts or images that should be loaded and are critical to loading the page. The browser will discover these eventually, but using the resource hints, you can signal to the browser to load them before it discovers them. The classic case is web fonts, where the browser doesn't know the web fonts exist until it loads the CSS, at which point it finds the web fonts and then loads it from there. With preload, we can signal to the browser to load those web fonts earlier. Now you can implement this today in two ways in standard HTML where you can signal to all these elements. If you controlled the HTTP stack, you could add an HTTP header. Now the HTTP header has the same attributes, but is landing in the browser a little bit sooner. And soon when, with early hints, this could be even sooner and the browser can be loading these resources while the HTML is still unpacked. So we've extended the liquid syntax to support new tags and filters that will allow you to signal that this CSS should be a resource preload, or this image should be a preload, or a custom resource like a web font or an Ajax call could also be marked as a preload resource hint. We will automatically add those as HTTP headers, and then the browser will be able to load those resources before discovering them later in the page. This will improve your page performance and as I mentioned, it will enhance the experience when early hints land in browsers later this year. So use preloads to help increase that discovery, particularly of later critical resources that the browser will find much later on. You can extend it to your CSS and your images today. You can learn more about that on shopify.dev. So in conclusion, install the Shopify CLI, install the VS Code plugin, migrate your apps, to use the theme app extensions. They work on all themes, not just those that are sections and blocks aware. Adopt preload resource hints to signal the browser to how to load resources faster. And you can find more information about this and other things on shopify.dev. Thank you.